So we went, we went to Florida on uh, the last four star trip. So I was sitting out in the back in the pool with Brian Anderson and I could hear like some commotion going on inside. Costin went to answer the door and was like, there's some super weird like old dude at the no. door. And then Tony Trujillo was like, fuck it, like there's 15 of us, let the dude in. So he comes in, whatever, and Tony, like, obviously, like, instantly is like, holy shit, it's Iggy Pop, like, what the yeah. fuck? And no one else really got it, so <laughs> I think Tony just, like, glued himself to him and was like, because <laughs> Iggy owned the house that we were staying in, used to prior. Nice. Owned it, and they'd, like, redone it. So he comes in and he wanted to have, like, a check out the house. And we were sitting out the back of the pool, and he, like, walks out, and Tony's like, this is the pool, and he's like, obviously, he's like, duh, I used to live here. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at him, and I look at Brian, I'm like, is that Iggy? And before I can even like spit out his name, Brian's like, yeah, dude. <laughs> I was like, holy the shit, Iggy voice. Pop, yeah. So we walk inside, and Rick Howe's like, hey, is your name Iggy? And he was like, yeah. And then he was like, you guys on like spring break? <laughs> We're like, no, nah, dude. We're like, whatever, he escaped skateboarding. He was like, oh, cool. And he had like two photos with us, and then he like left. Here's the situation, so I'm like standing Right here, here's the other side of the table. There's an empty beer right here. And uh, this girl puts out her cigarette in the empty beer and the girl's like, she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, all right. She just put a fucking cigarette in an empty beer. What's the problem here? She's like, no, 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 that was my beer. And I was like, the beer's empty. You're gonna be fine. She's like, who the fuck do you think you are? And I was like, I don't know. I'm just telling you that that beer was empty and someone put a cigarette in it. And uh, she like tried to flex on me. And then someone told me that it was Ernie Torres' sister. Oh, I thought you knew that. I didn't know that. And then I was like, all right, well, I kind of know of your brother. And she's like, I don't give a fuck. She's, she's like, like, you know who I am? She's like, you know who I am? I was like, I guess I kind of know your brother in a sense. I know of him. Yeah. Like, why are you so angry at me? You, you just... did tell her that. Yeah, I was like, why are you angry at me? Someone just put a cigarette in an empty beer bottle. The er bottle. And Ernie's Oh, so God, nice. I'm wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie's oh, like fucked. super nice too. He's a really nice guy. Yeah, that's why I was like, why is his sister so full of this? See, like, I was angry, yeah, and I was like, why? Really bad. And then, and then he says, she's like, well, she's I'm, gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go because I'm gonna find a girl. I'm gonna go. She's gonna hit me. Yeah, you know <laughs> I thought she was gonna like hit me with this bottle, for sure. She was like, she was looking. She at was him dogging with me out eyes. the whole time, and I was like, uh, I should probably get out of here. I was like, I don't. <laughs> Does anyone? Funny. Maybe we should call Ernie. Does anyone have Ernie's number? I do. Do you have any good Mike Carroll stories for us? Millions, but I ain't gonna tell any. None? Yeah, not, yeah, I can't. Come on, you gotta give us something. Something that, that is viewer friendly. He has been shredding for Pretty Sweet, so people will be psyched. Yeah, I've Mike Carroll is like fit as a fiddle and ripping, it's gnarly. <laughs> he does like That's yoga good, yeah. and Pilates and. Dude, he's gnarly. So he's just getting super limber to skate. He's, yeah, mad flexy, Maxi. Do it. <laughs> Dude, she's gonna be this after you. <clears throat> Hello? Ernie? Yes. Hey, it's Erica Yeri. Hi, Erica. How's it going? It's going good. This is a, you're on our show right now. You know, have you seen Weekend Buzz? Oh, shit. Have you seen I Weekend Buzz? I have seen a couple episodes, yes. Okay, so, <clears throat> um, I don't know if you heard about this tonight. For some reason, I highly doubt you did. But Austin Gillette almost got in a fight with your sister in Kansas City. Does she normally fight guys or like what? Because it was it was just a really funny situation. She was really angry. So is she like a scrapper? What's the deal? Yeah, she's just uh, she's one of those like I don't know, girl that just doesn't take shit. Yeah, no, I don't think he was trying to give her shit, but she was really angry. But we were just like, let's call Ernie and get his take on this whole situation. Whoa, crazy! I do you didn't hear yeah, about this? Well. <laughs> I did not hear about this. Maybe tell I don't story. think she knows All right, about here's the story. It sounds like you're trying to play Here's the story. Hair, Hi, Ernie. This is Austin. Um, there, was an empty, Austin. there was an empty beer, and a cigarette was put out in it, and she said it was her beer, and I said that it's an empty beer, and then she wanted to fight me, basically. <laughs> so that's... Uh, uh, sorry about that, man. No, don't say sorry. <laughs> no. I'm sure it's not smoothed out. I'm sure she still hates me. We're going to yes. be fine. We'll get through this. Hopefully we don't go, go back to I don't plan on going out. I don't think I'm going to Kansas anytime soon. All of us are just going to avoid Kansas. Is that where she lives? Uh, no, she just has friends up there. She goes and cruises up there sometimes. So she still lives in Oklahoma? Yeah. She just moved uh, to Highland Park. Really? <laughs> okay, cool. Her and Austin cool. might, be, it might be neighbors. Now. Who's good looking and skateboarding? <laughs> um, Is Dylan Reader handsome? 
who, no, who are all to these? To me, it's more about someone who like they they carry themselves the ultimate. Of course, people have certain face structures that work better than others, yeah. or naturally. But again, it's the ultimately. So, who carries themselves while well skateboarding? Yeah, I like this question. That's a good one. Uh, to you, I don't know. You're he comfortable in your sexuality. Carries himself the best in skateboarding. Oh God! She <laughs> told the truth. <laughs> like, he thinks he, thi- he oh, thinks you? he carries himself the best. In You're the most handsome skater, you know. That's not what I said. No, she I said carries know. herself the oh, best. Okay. Or feels well, you might have the hottest girlfriend, so that might be like an equi- Damn. You know. Look at Forget it turning red. <laughs> no, I got this at U.S. Open. I got this at U.S. Open. I got a tan out there. I was there too. Yeah. Totally <laughs> saw you bronzing out there. Yeah. Ernie, who would win in a fight, you or your sister? Oh, my sister would beat me up for sure. That's all we for needed sure. to know. That means she could take Austin for sure. Wow. How nice. old were you again when that happened? I was 15. 15. Yeah, but I was ditching school skating around Santa Monica, and I needed to get back to school because my mom was picking me up. So I was rushing back, hit a pebble, did a Superman, <laughs> fell on the ground, looked to the left, and next thing you know, I see a Mercedes-Benz grill. And next thing you know, I'm looking underneath the undercarriage of the back seat. That whole time being choked by a fuel line, Fluids from the car going to my eyes. She ran over me, stopped, and when she realized she ran over a human being, she backed up. And I guess being choked and all the blood going to my head and then the fluids from the car going to my eyes, I was Dude, blind. My eyes. My, my blood, eyes. I was, How I was long were you going for? I was blind for probably five minutes. But dude, that five minutes was an eternity. It felt yeah. like, it was just like, you just start thinking about things you're not gonna see anymore. It's just like, I'm blind. All the blood went into the whites, so for a Ooh. year, I had just like red just eyes. A year. Gnarly yeah. though, like gnarly. All, when I finally went yeah. back to school, all the Mexicans called me El Chino Diablo. <laughs> they were scared of me. That is they scary. Were, they, yeah. they were scared of me. I'm scared. <laughs> Do you have a good Fred Gall story from a gypsy tour? He didn't drink water the whole gypsy tour. He thought that it would be like a cool idea to collect the corks out of bo- wine bottles uh-huh. so he could make a mosaic on a skateboard. I didn't really see him drink water for maybe 10 days. It'd be like, I'd sleep next to him, we'd like sleep in our sleeping bags, like haggard. I'd wake up and look at him and he'd be like, <laughs> drink wine. And I'm like, holy shit. But he would skate nonstop the whole time. He's a weapon. So you've borrowed money we'll from your the- friends for a morning after pill? No. Plenty of fish. I'm still it's sick. Just some- <laughs> the website, we know what the website is. Fish are on a website, on dating there. some broads. No, this was the first one. The first I did it as a complete a joke, and then it just ended up like, met her. I didn't even have a cell phone at the time. I like no. met up with her through my friend's cell phone. Yeah. I was like staying in his house. And then she's like, let's hang out. And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty broke. Uh, we could drink a couple Four Locos and do whatever. And she's Get like, weird. yeah, I fucking yeah. love Four Locos. Let's do this. I'm like, all right, fuck yeah, that's my kind of girl. Picks me up, go to her house, get Four Locos, whatever, hook up with her. Fucking condom broke. And then I'm like freaking out. And then the next morning she drops me back off and I'm like running the house. I'm like, dude, somebody's got to give me money for a morning after feel like I don't even have, I'm like, I have $20. Someone just give me fucking whatever I need so I don't have to fucking have a kid for the rest of my life. And they're like, fuck you, dude, this is awesome. You're done, you're on your own right now. Like they loved it. They were just like oh, wow. laughing. Everybody's laughing at this me. This is like, not everybody. funny. Everybody, yeah, I don't think it's funny. Everybody's laughing at me like, nah, dude, this is you, you're fucked. And so. I'm like, all right. I overdrafted like 60 bucks or something. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Well, congratulations on not being a father, I suppose, is in order. Yes, that you know. Be great, How Dad. old would that baby be now? He'll be fine. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers to uh, non-babies. Cheers to science. <laughs>